Well, hello guys. I am wildly late for work. Not late, like I'm just really pushing it. Throwing some last minute stuff into my lunch bag. I have to request my Uber right this second. I am so excited for this trip. I am working with one of my best friends, Suzanne. She's been in so many of my vlogs. And then she's the one that lives in San Diego. And then it's a three day trip. We're gone for two nights but we have a 30 hour layover in nashville tennessee and i've never been to nashville guys so i am like so excited okay my uber will be here in six minutes that's actually perfect because it gives me a little bit of time to show you guys what i packed for food so we have ooh, the rest of my two weeks sakara life so this is honestly today is saturday um but i this says saturday which is funny i feel like they mess that up but I have a soba noodle, noodle bowl. I think that's like my lunch. Daydreamer soba bowl. Okay, yummy, yummy. And then for dinner, inner fire bowl. So I'm like really good on food today. I brought a little smart sweets, peach rings for a little treat. I have my, my peely nuts that I talked about in one of my recent vlogs. And then I have an Olipop in here for a treat. Suzanne said she got some snacks too. Also, I finally got my nails done. Editing my last three vlogs was so painful for me looking at my nails. They were horrendous. I, and I have to say, I'm not crazy about these. Like, she kind of did a little bit of a sloppy job. I don't know. They're usually great. I went to one of the same people I always go to. But this is a very simple, plain color. I think it's from the Hello Kitty line. <clears throat> it's just like a... It doesn't look like it, but it's a super, super, super light, kind of like creamish, pinkish color. Just looks kind of white here. Okay. Uber's almost here. I hate getting ready in such a rush like that. I had so much I needed to do before I left. Anyway, all right, bye. Good morning, I'm in Nashville. I decided to like get ready before I started filming because I just looked rough when I woke up this morning and I just wanted to like have my thoughts to myself. But I'm in Nashville, I'm so excited to be here. Suzanne is not up yet, it is now 10.40. We were gonna try to go to White Limousine like early when it opened, but and it opens at 10, but <clears throat> It's too late now. I guess she's sleeping in. It's so cold. It's 45 degrees outside. So thankfully I packed all warm stuff. Last night we got to the hotel at like one o'clock in the morning. We were a little bit delayed. We ended up ordering takeout. We got bao bun, wow bao? Wow bao is the place and we got bao buns. <laughs> they were kind of, honestly I was so tired. And whenever I have like delays and I'm like forced to be up later than I was supposed to be, I get hungry which isn't great, but oh well. So Suzanne and I ordered that and we ate that and then went to bed. I had someone knocking on my door at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, there's drunk people everywhere here. There was the Titans game last night or yesterday. Apparently Nashville's like this anyway, but um, it was like extra, extra according to like the hotel staff and our uh, the van driver who drove us here. Drunk people everywhere in the lobby. This guy like, it was really creepy knocking on my door i woke up and then i'm like was that someone knocking on my door no it must have been like another room and then i heard it again i'm like no that's my door so i got up walked over to the door looked out of the little peephole and there's a shirtless man beard tattoos i couldn't see his face because he wasn't like facing the door knocking on my door and so i was just like what's up and then i clearly wasn't the voice he was expecting to hear and he like walked away really fast he who knows what the heck was going on it wasn't like a banging it was like a subtle knock but the whole thing was weird clearly he was wasted like a mess anyway today is just supposed to be sunday fun day and 
I'm ready to go. Suzanne needs to wake up. I'm gonna go downstairs and get myself a coffee while I wait for her. But my outfit, it's pretty like, I wanted to wear pink since we were going to white limousine, but it's just this like pink sweater that I got from Revolve, Spanx leggings, like the leather leggings, and then my platform white converse. And then I just have, when my hair is not cooperating, I like to just like put it back in these little clips so that it's out of my face and I'm not touching it all day, but I still want to wear it down. Did a full face of makeup. I don't really like how I did my eyeliner today, but we'll make do with it. Anyway, so I've been going downstairs to get coffee and kill time until Suzanne wakes up. Hope she's okay. Hope nothing weird happened. I got two cappuccinos with a ton of cinnamon and some vanilla syrup. Well, guys, I forgot to vlog. <laughs> I had such a good time in Nashville, though. No one's on the plane. Well, there's cleaners in the back. Um, but otherwise, it's just me on the airplane right now. But y'all, I'm filming on my phone. That's why I'm like looking to the side. I feel like I'm just gonna have to continue this vlog later because I've just been so, oh, it's gonna get loud because of the vacuum. I had such a good time. I have how many flights today? I just worked from Nashville to Fort Lauderdale and then I have Lauderdale to JFK as my next flight and then JFK to Boston. I go home, I'm so excited to go home. Well, good day. Let's see, it's a few days after, <laughs> it's a few days after I worked back from Nashville. <laughs> I came home, I had a guest, I was busy, um, so, now I have a day off all to myself and I'm gonna like, I don't know. I have a lot I have to do today. A couple exciting things. One, I have to edit. Like every day I have off, I have to edit, which is fine. I have a Zoom meeting, which I'm pretty excited about and I will talk more about that later. And I have to work out and I have to clean and I have to get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a turn. I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow though. Oh, let's see, it's 19 degrees outside, but it's super sunny, so I kind of want to stretch my legs a little bit and walk around some, as crazy as that sounds. Obviously, I'm in my Barefoot Dreams robe. Y'all, I'm so obsessed with this robe. Oh, I could just live in it. It's almost like a problem. Like, it's so comfortable. It makes me not want to do anything. It makes me not want to move. It makes me just want to be wrapped up in it and 
be all cuddly cozy. It's just so, so, so soft. It's in my Amazon shop. My Amazon shop is always linked down below and it basically has literally everything that I use. Um, I just listened to the most incredible podcast last night though. It was the Skinny Confidential episode, episode 428 wellness practices that will enhance your life, essential supplements, and nutritional gaps featuring Shervin, I can't say his last name, I'm gonna butcher it, founder of Symbiotica. So I ended up ordering some Symbiotica supplements. I cannot wait to show those to you guys when they come in the mail. I am so excited for that. Um, I've been following um, Shervin, 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 Shervin. I feel like I'm saying it wrong on Instagram I think since the fall or like late summer and I really like him. He's extremely smart. That podcast is incredible. I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link for the podcast. The information just on wellness and supplements has got me really excited to order this stuff. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. But I need to get dressed so I can go to the gym, get in a good workout, maybe do a little walk around my building, get some sunshine on my face and then get ready for this Zoom call. All right. Finished my workout. I just put on makeup and little hoop earrings for my Zoom meeting so that I, I don't know. I don't have time to take a shower and all that, but I do want to look kind of just like clean and presentable. I'm still in my workout clothes, which is gross because I am a little sweaty, but it is what it is. So I am actually going to make, let's see, a daily harvest smoothie. Pretty pumped about this. So I'm gonna make this Daily Harvest smoothie. Let's see, this is the cacao avocado smoothie. Most of it's organic. Organic zucchini, organic pumpkin seeds, organic dates, organic cacao powder, organic coconut cream, organic avocado, organic avocado puree, organic coconut oil, water, organic cacao nibs, Himalayan sea salt. Pretty easy. Oh wow. Honestly, this looks so good. So this is it. I'm literally going to just, oh, and it has like the ingredients listed here. So they do anything with an asterisk next to it is organic. They do as much organic ingredients as possible. So it smells really good if I'm being perfectly honest. So I put that in there and then it says to fill cup to top with your preferred liquid. Oh, pour into a blender and blend. Pour back into your cup, grab a straw, go for it. Okay, I did this wrong. Let me pour all of this back. That'll do. I didn't get it all back in there, but it's not really necessary to. I like mine extra creamy. Anyway, I'm just gonna use regular almond milk. Let's see how this goes. It's still super thick, but that's okay. Wow, it's like a milkshake. Then they give you this cute little lid and you just pop a straw through. I have my little silicone straws. <laughs> it's really good. Ugh, I don't need a straw this big, but this is really good. Mm -hmm. It's filling. I can already tell that it's going to be super filling. Share what they wanted, which I actually want the Buffy to buy and like things like that. Big nose code. So a lot of people have already used that, which unfortunately means they can't look. But like, if you do want quickly i just wanted to share my very random but very good little dinner setup i have going on so i'm eating tuna i literally just mixed up a can of tuna with primal kitchen mayonnaise which is my fam favorite mayonnaise salt pepper and a little bit of hot sauce that I have left over from Bar Taco Takeout. Oh, and I put some of Trader Joe's. I think they're like candied jalapenos. They're really, really good. And I just kind of mix that into tuna. And I've been eating it with the Ella Flat. Ella Flats, these are so good. Oh, I didn't realize I was zooming in. These are so tasty. And they're I've, I've talked about them before. They were a part of a recent haul. But I just want to share like how... Let me get a big cracker so I can show how crispy it is like it's just so easy to crack and separate and then eat with tuna it's so good or whatever else you might want to dip it in and I'm having this stuff with some root beer olipop surprise surprise this olipop is so good today for some reason it's just like even better than normal 
And then for like my bigger portion of my meal, I'm having this daily harvest bowl. So this is like the daily harvest, harvest bowl, cauliflower, rice, and pesto. These are the ingredients, cauliflower, spinach, basil, olive oil, cashew, and some nutritional yeast. And it's really good. It was super easy to make. You can ideally heat it up on your stove, but I made it in the microwave because I'm lazy right now and I just wanted convenience. But um, yeah, this is my little easy peasy dinner. <laughs> Random, but good. I've been really, really enjoying Daily Harvest, guys. Now that I'm showing you guys that I am eating this Daily Harvest, I'm going to switch over to my haul when I originally got Daily Harvest. So we'll switch over to that now and I'll show you everything I got. All right, guys. I really wanted to film opening this. Even though I'm not vlogging today, I just happened to get my Daily Harvest package today. This package is massive. Um... <laughs> There's a little dent in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and open everything up and show y'all. So I'm obsessed with the packaging already. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all. Okay. Here it all is. Look at how beautiful. It, it, honestly, their packaging and their branding is amazing. They've got all of the ingredients listed right here for each each item. So this is a broccoli, rice, and dill pilaf, a harvest bowl. So I have broccoli, asparagus, coconut, dill, pumpkin seed, MCT oil. That's it. That's what's in here. I've got smoothies. Should I go over everything? I guess so. Let's do it. I really probably could have done a better job at making myself look nice. I'm in my little jacket. Uh, but anyway, okay, let's go over all of it. I got a bunch of smoothies, some ice creams, some harvest bowls, some soups, some snacks, and some of the lattes. So I think I got 24, 26 items. First things first, the broccoli, rice, dill, pilaf, harvest bowl. I just showed that. This one is a soup, the carrot and coconut curry soup. Here's all the ingredients. This one is cauliflower and leek stew. Wow, this looks good. Cauliflower, rice, and pesto. That is a harvest bowl. Okay, I only got two harvest bowls. I have this chia bowl. This is the blackberry and magic, so it's got like blue magic in it. This one is the kab kabocha, kabocha, kabocha chai. This is an oat bowl, so this I'm really excited about. The other one is a chia bowl. This is a chia bowl chocolate almond. Pretty good. Do I have room for all of this in my freezer? <laughs> okay, now let's go into the ice creams. This is the strawberry ice cream, rich rippled berry compote. Looks amazing. I'm gonna have some of that tonight, or at least one of them. Toasted buttery hazelnut crunch pistachio. So this is pistachio ice cream. And then this one is mint dark melty cacao chips with dark melty cacao chips. Okay, I got these little, I don't know how these work, but I got these little latte things. So basically, this one is almond, murasaki, coffee, ashwagandha, cordyceps. Run hot water over sealed latte pie for 10 seconds. Then if you want it hot, unpeel and pop into pot or microwave safe mug, add one cup of your preferred milk for stovetop, cook over medium, cool. So I got this almond ashwagandha coffee one. I have this. This is a um, chaga chocolate latte. Maybe I'll have this tonight. I don't know. Maple, coconut, cacao, reishi, chaga, vanilla bean. These ingredients are so clean, guys. None of this is sponsored. I just buy it. I'm not quite there yet. I would love to work with this company, but let's try the food first. Anyway. Then I got matcha lemongrass latte. This one has coconut lemongrass, matcha, MCT oil, and chlorella. And then I think the rest are smoothies. I got so many smoothies, you guys. Cold brew almond smoothie. Cacao avocado smoothie. So basically you dump these into your blender and then you put whatever milk you want with it or water or whatever. Banana almond. I went for like keto-ish low carb options. There are obviously some high carb things in here too. Okay, chai coconut smoothie, ginger greens. I could just list all the ingredients, but this would take way too long. They will be in my blogs, guys. Banana, spinach, avocado, ginger, flaxseed, ginger and greens. 
Uh, let's see, mandarin carrot smoothie. Oh, what's cool is you can pour it back into, you can pour it back into the cup and there's a little hole for a straw. Cucumber greens, it has all green stuff in it. Another cucumber greens. And then mint cacao smoothie. You guys, this is a lot of food. I'm pumped on this. And then the last two things I got, I forgot I got these. So these are like little bites. This is a cacao vanilla bite. This is a matcha murasaki bite. Let me see if I can try one of these now. It looks like cookie dough. Oh my goodness, guys. It looks like cookie dough. So this has chickpea, coconut, cacao, kaboka, kabocha, I don't know if I'm saying it right, maca, and vanilla bean. It tastes like cookie dough. Absolutely. I am all about this. All of this stuff. I'm so excited. It all has to go in the freezer. <laughs> I look hilarious. Wow. I am drinking my Daily Harvest. It's like basically their hot chocolate. I forgot exactly what it is. Mm. It's so good. You know what? I should show y'all. I posted it on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram... Go over there and follow me, but maple, coconut, cacao, reishi, which is very calming, chaga, which is good for like your immunity, and vanilla bean. I believe chaga is good for brain fun brain function too. Um. Anyway, what is that? That's the, it's a chaga chocolate latte. So good, guys. So I'm now currently editing this vlog that you are currently watching i hope that you enjoyed it my name is vera for those of you who are new here if you haven't already subscribe to my channel a few people said that they thought they were subscribed and weren't or it like kicked them off or something weird like that which is strange because my subscriber numbers have been going up and down in like a weird way, which they don't usually do. So double check and make sure you're subscribed. Go ahead and hit like if you enjoyed the video. If you wanna be notified for whenever I do post a new video, you can just click the little notification bell down below. And please say hello in the comments. If you've ever been to Nashville, please let me know. I wanna know what you did and give me recommendations for the next time I'm there because I will definitely be back that city is so cool and so much fun a little bit too much fun anyway i will see you guys on my next vlog love y'all bye